Hey, welcome to another edition of Mindset Monday. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite philosophies of all time by a guy named Alan Watts where he talks about what would you do if money wasn't an object. So this guy, Alan Watts, was a famous philosopher and he talked about this theory of what would you do if money was an object and whatever it is, do that. Now this is something I saw when I was about 20 years old in college. I watched this video and also I'll put the link below and this video solidified my perspective on life because this was something I always believed ever since I was a young kid. I was always like, why can't I just pursue this dream or pursue that dream? I don't care about the money. I just want to do that. I want to do this. And everyone kept telling me no. So I ended up following a path that wasn't really true to my heart. But when I saw this, I was old enough and a little more mature where I can really, you know, have confidence in my own opinions and my own values in life. And when I saw this message of what would you do if money wasn't an object? Then he was like, then do that. I was like, oh, okay. So I should pursue these dreams and not worry about the money because he said the money will eventually follow because if you spend the time perfecting your craft, mastering your skill, eventually you'll become so good at it you'll get paid for it anyway. So for me, living the dream, that's what like my whole thing is. Live your dreams every day, it's that process. Don't worry about the money, just do what you love and continue to work on your craft, continue to get better, continue to learn, continue to grow. But at that same time, find joy and love and fun in that process, in that climb, because it will make life much more enjoyable, much more exciting and much more fulfilling. And then eventually you'll become so good at it, you'll make a ton of money anyway from it if you're smart about it, right? You still need to take action and you still need to be smart in the process of how you would make money from it but it's the thought process and the mindset and the philosophy that you should really live your dreams every single day and forget about the money because the money will come at some point in your life that doesn't mean you can't make money along the way it means don't choose a job or a career path that makes $150,000 compared to something that you truly love that where you would get paid $75,000. You're not getting paid as much, but you're doing something you love 10 times more, so you're actually much happier in life. And then you'll find ways to make more money on top of that. And it's a much better way of living life. And that's really a mindset I have adopted in my life, which is what I'm doing right now, right? I'm doing these videos. I'm doing this YouTube channel, something that I truly love. I don't care if five people watch my videos or if five million people watch my videos. I'm still going to do it because I find fun and joy and love in doing this. I'm also going to continue... I'm also going to continue to pursue my rap career because I love making music. Once again, I don't care if five people watch it or five million people listen to my music. I'm still going to write how I feel. I'm going to put it over a beat. I'm going to make videos. I'm going to continue to get creative and see if I can grow as an artist because that's what I love to do. And maybe eventually I'll make an album and some people will buy my album and I'll make money off of that. I'm going to continue to teach. I'm going to continue to be in the school system as a teacher and try to educate my students as much as possible and you know what maybe I'll get a raise somehow or maybe that'll lead to another opportunity where I leave the classroom and I become a, a teacher at a conference a motivational speaker or something like that where I end up making more money that way so it's not about the money it's about doing the things I love continue to get better at that and then eventually the money will follow and even if the money doesn't follow at least for me I'll still be happy knowing that I'm living my dream and that I tried and I put in my full effort because at the end of the day, you only have one life. So you might as well live life to the fullest every single day. And that's how I see life. That's how I live my life. And I hope that mindset resonates with you and I hope that you try to adopt that in your own life because you'll just be so much happier if you do something you actually love compared to doing something you don't love. So start now, if you're young, start early. Really start practicing the things that you love to do it doesn't happen overnight. You don't blow up overnight. There's always outlier situations where someone gets famous and makes a ton of money overnight or there are teenagers that can do it. Absolutely, that stuff is real. But continue to work on your craft, continue to love the process and the growth of it, whatever it is that you wanna do, and the money will come at some point in your life. Because you're young, you have plenty of time. Even me, I'm 27 years old, I'm still young, I still haven't made a ton of money off of my dreams, but I know one day I will, and I'm okay with that, and I'm happy with that. So if you're young, start early. If you're older, don't give up, keep going, keep pursuing it, keep doing what you love, and be smart about the process as well. You wanna work hard and work smart. 
All right, so that's pretty much it for Mindset Monday. Thank you for watching, I truly appreciate it. Hit me with a like and a subscribe, or leave a comment, because I actually would love to know what your dreams are and what you're actually doing to live your dreams right now. What are the things that you're doing? What are the steps that you're taking? Uh, I'm very curious, so leave a comment and I'll listen to you, I'll engage with you. And that's pretty much it. So once again, thank you very much. You know who it is. It's Mr. B, AKA Mikey B, peace.